Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today we are going to make an ultrasonic levitator by using HCSRO4 ultrasonic module. Since it's an easy way to make this project and a perfect module to do our job. Regardingly, let's talk about ultrasonic levitation in detail. The ultrasonic levitation is a method for suspending matter in air against gravity by using acoustic radiative pressure from high intensity sound waves. It works on two small principles by the acoustic tweezers by hardening acoustic radiation forces. The first demonstration of the possibility of acoustic levitation was made by Kunz tube. The experiment was done in 1866. The levitation is a promising method for containerless processing of microchips and other small delicate projects in the intensity. The method is hardening to control than other such electromagnetic levitation but having the advantage of being able to conduct non-intensity products. The main focus of the video is teach you guys the ultrasonic levitation and its working principle. To weigh the key component in the build of the video is the ultrasonic module. The module has one transducer and a receiver. So let's guide into making this video. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. For making the project take out the ultrasonic module. Note that the module has a transducer and a receiver. Apply a tab or solder to the legs of the ultrasonic module to remove it from the PCB. Then gently apply pressure from the bottom side of the module to remove it from the PCB. The module has two contact points. I have removed both the sensors from the PCB. Then place the transducer module in the dotted PCB after largening the PCB holes and solder down it gently. I have made both the transducer and the receiver for the ultrasonic module. Then solder jumper pins from the contact points of the module. Use two different colors as we do the positive and negative wiring for the projects. Then I 3D printed a small box to fix the module. Applied a small amount of glue to the top side of the box to fix the ultrasonic module which was prepared before. Firmly place it in the module. This way I have glued the bottom side of the box with another ultrasonic module so it is facing both in the same line. Then attach wires from the Arduino Uno digital pins 7, 8 and 13. And also connecting the power pins directly to the ground pin of the Arduino Uno and the 33 volt to complete the wiring. Let's talk about the ultrasonic levitator code. The first two lines I had include the AVR sleep and the AVR power libraries in the Arduino you know, as you can see over here. Then I defined N port and the DVI port. N port as 1 and the DVI port as 24. Then I defined the output wave pointer D and the pointer N ports are 0, as you can see. Then defines the N button as 6, the step size as 1, the button sense as 250, and the N frames as 24. After that, we need to analyze the static bytes and redirect them to the frame and device ports. So I made it. After uploading the code, Make a small piece of styrofoam bubble and place it between the ultrasonic module. And so you can see the bubble slowly rising. This is a easy way you can make the ultrasonic levitator. Straight disclaimer, sometimes it's hard to raise the styrofoam bubble. Maybe due to two reasons. The size of the bubble which we made is so much big or the transducer or the receiver is not placed correctly. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Senna Modi signing out.